AI is nothing new. We need to allow for the fact that the term AI is being used to raise venture capital in the multiple, very multiple billions of dollars. What is actually happening is that computers are running programs just as they have always been. We are trying to make better programs, but uh, there is no intelligence going on. There is no learning going on. There is uh, no imagination going on. And there certainly is no sentience going on, nor are we anywhere around sentience or even uh, general AI, uh, not for decades, uh, general AI being like uh, a computer that you can actually talk to on a wide ranging topic uh, the way you can your next door neighbor on his back porch and tell stories to one another and know that you're talking uh, to a person. I remember watching a television program. I drive a truck for a living uh, and uh, drive the interstates. But uh, I remember watching uh, a man from an uh, autonomous vehicle company going into a truck stop and talking with a couple of truckers saying, you know, uh, how do you feel about autonomous vehicles, you know, uh, taking over and man, taking over your jobs in, in trucking? And the guards were going, boy, I, I hadn't really uh, thought about that. I really do enjoy my job and I'd, I'd hate to lose it. And, and uh, so uh, they took these couple of uh, truck drivers out into the parking lot and there was their, there was the autonomous uh, semi tractor with a trailer attached to it and they all got into it and uh, the truck drove itself down the freeway and the man who had uh, who was the uh, public relations guy for this company was saying isn't this amazing isn't it and the guys who were the drivers saying wow this is this is really something <sighs> that truck was not autonomous there was a driver's seat in that truck. Was the driver's seat empty? No, there was a truck driver there just in case. And uh, if the truck did anything untoward, there was that driver there to try to take over as quickly as he could. If that truck were autonomous, then those uh, truck drivers from the truck stop and the public relations guy and the, a truck driver would be at the destination point saying, well, I'm sure this truck will show up sometime. I hope, huh, five minutes late, 20 minutes late. Maybe we better go back down the route and found to find out where that truck is because apparently it's not going to finish its route. Or maybe the truck would finish its route. Maybe it would only foul up every seventh, every 40th time, whatever. The point is that that truck was never autonomous. And trucks that are cars and trucks that are uh, advertised to be self driving autopilot, the, over and over again, when you pull down the sun, sun visor, there's the big warning. This is not a self driving vehicle, it is designed to assist the driver. And if something screws up, it's the driver's fault. There, there, this idea of artificial intelligence is long on artificial and very short on intelligence. There's a, uh, uh, the bottom line is that there's a, a lot of scare going on. Oh, my job's going to be taken over, but then, they, and then they're going to have artificial intelligence uh, uh, lawyers, and then artificial intelligence doctors, and artificial intelligence, you name the occupation. It's all going to take over, and we'll have nothing to do. Look, look, here's an illustration. 
Henry Ford, as we all know, brought in the assembly line and perfected, uh, to a large extent, the assembly line. Did that mean that the assembly line took over car production? Well, only in a sense. It did not throw the workers out. It increased productivity. In other words, car manufacturers and carriage uh uh, uh, designers and uh, the people who made cars were not replaced by the assembly line. They were replaced by the people who knew how to use the assembly line. They were replaced by other workers who knew how to use uh, the new technology. Are doctors going to be replaced by artificial intelligence? No, they are going to be replaced by doctors who know how to use artificial intelligence not to take over their jobs, but to do their jobs better. Uh, are attorneys going to be replaced by artificial intelligence? No, they are going to be replaced by attorneys who know how to use computers. <laughs> Truck drivers, we use computers now. The first thing I do every day when I go into the driver's waiting room is uh, boot up my computer. It's a little thing, handheld, but it's a computer. Um, and uh, boot it up, put in my driver information, get it all set up. And that, uh, that electronic logging device keeps track of all my driving. And, uh, and the truck driving industry, in my opinion, even though a lot of the old guys go... What happened to my paper log? I wish I had my paper log back. Well, they do because you can falsify a paper log and maybe make more money. In my opinion, that's the reason that a lot of the old drivers want it. But every single occupation that can use technology to become better, technology of all sorts, anti-locking brakes, all kinds of things, these sectors of that occupation will be better able to perform their duties than sectors of that occupation who say, oh, that technology, we don't need that. We don't want to use those nasty computers. Um, so that, if the term artificial intelligence, I think, is a misnomer uh, anyway. There's... Uh, because we get it so confused with iRobot on television and Will Smith doing this great job acting and whatever the name of the uh, robot was that it, it was, this doesn't exist. Uh, the type of AI that uh, we see on television in 2001, A Space Odyssey, it's not, it's not around. A fire has far more artificial intelligence than a than any AI program. A fire reproduces itself, it seeks food, it breathes, it does all kinds of things that mimic, uh, that mimic life. But AI does not, and, is, and in my opinion is, uh, as I say, long on artificial and very, very short on intelligence. And I know I just sound like the guy who says, if man were meant to fly, he'd have wings. But I'll tell you what, in my opinion, the stream cannot rise higher than its source unless you <laughs> give it a bunch of pumps and pump energy into it. And in the same way, artificial intelligence, a, a, a doctor can use it to sift through a big stack of, uh, of say, MRIs. But boy, oh boy, he better not trust the results of that computer program to make medical decisions for individuals. He is going to look over there and he, he's going to be greatly assisted because it's going to throw out a bunch of things that are just trash and he doesn't need to look at. And that's happening right now. If you want an MRI of a certain part of the body, you can request that and put in a filter. Um, and all these types of technology are going to make jobs better, 
are going to make products better, are going to make services better, but they will not replace any of those areas. It will still require humans to verify that we are heading in the direction that we need to go to perform the service or to create the product.